Ladies and gents, this improv story is based on an idea by Karobo, which is, man freezes during interview. Let the story commence. Craig couldn't believe it. They said, come in for an interview. Lost his, he lost his job because of that fucking coronavirus. They didn't even follow him. They just laid him off. But he managed to get a new job. He sent in a CV. He thought, it's not gonna, I'm not going to get it. I know I'm not going to get it. Got an interview. Yes. There was a wee problem though. He did a rehearsal interview in the house uh, with his girlfriend. Can you just ask me the sort of questions that you think they might ask? Like, oh, has there ever been a time where there's been a problem and um, like with a staff member and um, how, how did you confront that staff member? Going to ask me something like that, just just these sort of questions. In fact, here's a, here's a printout, just, just, I've printed it out. But I can just look at it on my phone. I know, but I've printed it. I realised after I printed it. You just... Right, so just... Uh, there's standard sort of questions you get asked. Just ask. So she went. Okay. Uh, what's your biggest weakness? Um, um, I'd say... Probably my biggest weakness is actually... Probably thinking too much, maybe. I've just realised in there, just thinking too much sometimes uh, because I'm, I really like to plan I really like to plan I really like to plan um, but I see that as a strength because I've oh fuck um, he started getting all kind of hot you know his face is all red and all that and lips are all dry and she's like just calm down calm down like right right I'll ask us another one right okay um, has there ever been a time in a, a company uh, anywhere you've worked where you felt that you were the only one that was right with a certain situation everybody else got it wrong and um, it turned out you, you were in the wrong if so how did you deal with that what was the problem how did, how did you deal with it I don't I don't I don't I don't no I don't think that's ever happened I don't think that's ever happened Um Actually, um, I mean, I'm not saying that I'm perfect or anything like that. Everybody does that. Everybody thinks. So I don't want to, I don't want to appear that I, I always get it right. Um, he was all red and she said, just calm down. You you look like you're fucking burning up. I just get so, I get all hot and it's the adrenaline. I'm just like, I fucking, fuck, you know, he was like that. He was like up with the collar. He said, "Go on and let me try something. This is got this is daft, right?" And he moved his seat. They were in the kitchen. He moved his seat out next to the freezer. Opened up the freezer door. She's like, "What are you doing, Craig? You're crazy!" He said, "Just let me try this." Opened the freezer door. <laughs> Sat next to the freezer door. He's Craig's fucking. Craig's mad. Some of his ideas. He sat next to the freezer. He's like, "Oh, that's better." Right, go date, try it now. Right. Has there been a situation where you've, where you thought you were right? No, just ask a new, a new one, because I want, I, want I want it to be a new one, a new challenge. Right. All right. Um, what has been uh, your biggest failure in the workplace? Oh, um, biggest failure? Biggest failure, I think just actually maybe overworking. I think actually overworking, working too hard. You sometimes want to work really hard, but in fact you're best to work smart. Don't work hard, work smart. I love working hard, but not in an inefficient way. I like working smartly, if that's the word. Um... Biggest failure is, is just I, I used to work really, really hard, really long hours uh, when I didn't need to. I've got no problem with putting the hours in if I have to. Um, but I used to habitually just work far too much. Um, and then I realised, you know, how to get more done in less time just, just makes everybody more happy.
She's like, that was good. He's like, it was good. That was good. It was because of that. The heat fucking goes to my head, Mary. I think I could answer these questions as long as I didn't get hot. So they tried another few questions out next to the freezer. He was fine. Shut the freezer door. Starts fucking up. Face is all red. He just, it's the heat. He said, I need this job, Mary. She says, I know, because I've been laid off and all. How are you getting on with that job? I've had nothing back. Right, fuck. I need this job. The only way I... I'm going to get a chance of getting this job and getting through this interview as if somehow I am cold. What should I do? She says, well, you kind of take the freeze away. He went, of course not, it's preposterous. <laughs> you kind of turn up with a big gigantic fan. No, no. They might have a fan in there, but I can't count on that. She said, I know. Ice. What? Use ice. Ice? What, what would I do with that? Just put ice under your, your clays. But it would melt. No. Like, put it in something, like, put it in bags or something, and... Right. All right. All right. Fuck it. So... They got these, uh, all of this stuff online. It's like ice bags. You can put the kind of ice in, a, in, in, in like, a bag, and you sort of wrap it up. Um, like that, and it's kind of... It's not just like, you know, the way you ice cube holders, you turn it upside down, you do that. Fine, right, good. Strapped to all around him, he was like... <laughs> taped to all around him, tons of... Ice all around him, on his legs, on his chest and everything. He was fucking freezing. He was shivering. He said, I can't do this, it'll look like I'm scared, it'll look like I'm nervous. She says, I know, but let's try the questions now, to see if it balances it out. So they did it again, no next to the freezer. She went... Who, what would you say is your biggest enemy? In terms of work. And he said, that's a really good question. I don't see, I don't quite understand the question, to be honest with you. I wonder if you could clarify that. And she said, well, that's the only question there is there. But see the way you, the confident way you handled that there. I think you're ready. ready to go strapped up with the ice she drove him there making sure he was there at the last fucking second because she don't want to be waiting about went into the interview sat down and it went like that thank you for coming uh, Craig I'm just going to ask you a few questions here um Kind of general questions. You've probably seen this on websites. It's just something we do just to get to know you. Um, you are right with that? Absolutely fine. You are right? Mm -hmm. Just a wee bit. Wee bit. Just a bit um, cold. Cold? Mm -hmm. Just a wee bit cold. We can turn up a heat. No, 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 no. It's fine. Because he hadn't been questioned yet. So he hadn't, you know. He, you know. So a bit like that. Who are you? What? Who are you? Um, I'm Craig. No, no. Um, like you know, who are you? Who do who do you see yourself as? Who are you? Who who are you? Well, I, I like um, camping and cycling. No, not where your hobbies are. Right, sorry. I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. Could you clarify? And he could see there's a wee thing that I like. Oh, I like his confidence. 
who are you? Who? What makes you you? You know, how would you describe yourself in in relation to you know how how you would get on and what what your interests? What right? And he started telling them, I'm a, this might sound cheesy, a bit American, but I'm a goals driven, objectives driven person. Um, I like to write down my list of tasks in the morning so I know what I'm doing. I try and achieve achieve those objectives uh, in the time that I've got. I make sure I don't take on too much. I try to delegate where possible, but not give too much work away. I feel that I'm the best person for the job is the best person for the job, you know. That was really, really good. Next question. Are you any good at Excel? Um, and hang is he, wasn't he? I'm not, I'm n not that, I'm not, not yet. This is Microsoft Excel. This you're not saying that I'm a good at excelling. No, Microsoft Excel or or Google Sheets. Are you any good? Um, um, no. But I didn't realise that's what the job entailed. Well, we do use spreadsheets for time to time. I'm not we're not going to have you constantly on the spreadsheets. But um, I I can I can I can, I can yes I, I did a bit of that in college I can oh things have probably changed from when you were in college no but I can I can he started to feel it wasn't going his way the ice was starting to melt they asked some more questions he th they threw in some right curveballs as they say in the states and. His body heated up the bags of ice so much that they actually got warm and the wee bits of air inside actually expanded. They were, didn't turn to steam, but they expanded. And these packets were never meant to contain warm fucking air. They for ice. They're never meant them thin, very thin. Yes, water expands as it turns to ice, but in a different way for that. They asked them some more questions. They said, What do you not like about yourself? Well, it's a good question. That's a good question. What do I not like about myself? Well, he was heating up so much that the bags began to leak. The water was heating up, the air pockets that were inside expanded and it started to leak he said he didn't realise it though he thought he was just sweating buckets he stood up and he said I'm sorry I can't do this and they went no you can't leave But just before he was ready to turn around, the interviewer, she went like that. Wait a second. What's that? He looked like he'd pissed himself. It was all wet down there. He went, oh that? She said, have you urinated yourself? He went, he thought, I would rather say that than what happened, like I've got ice fucking bags. He went, he just kind of went like that. And she went, I have never 
in my 10 years of being a professional interviewer, because you get people who are, their job is just to interview, like in The Apprentice, seen someone who cares so much about their job, about getting this job, that they have actually wet themselves And I love that passion. But it's not just that. By the way, Craig, can I just let you know, you've got the job. Oh my God, but wait, I've got a thing to say here. The fact that I can see that you have wet yourself, but I do not smell any urine, indicates to me well, everybody in the chat, what does that indicate? Daniel, stop moaning! It's more than at fortnight. Well hydrated, yes. Shows me that you drink water regularly. You stay hydrated. It's not got that really smelly when you go to the builder's room, then your house up and your fucking toilet's she just started swearing, she doesn't give, because she knew she could, it's a guy, it's, it's on the level. A guy, Daniel! You need to stop moaning! What's annoying? Not you moaning at the game! What? Um. Well, what? Why are you shouting? You can't hear him, but he's going like, "What? Ah, 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 that you are well hydrated. I cannot smell any urine, but I can clearly see you've urinated yourself. Tells me you care about your mind, you care about your body, you check up on things you do, you take the expert's advice, and it's that that has just got you the job. I know I've already said you got the job, but I want to tell you it's two reasons. The pissing yourself would have got you the job, but knowing you're well hydrated would have got it. So see, even if you get sacked, you've still got one life left. Because you've got this job twice, Craig. I have never seen this in my life. And see, just to test it, Craig, like a few months later, just, just pulled out his cotton pistol at his computer right in the middle of a client presentation. He just wanted to test it. He got the sack right there and then, get out. And then he walked right back in. And everybody was like, oh, hi Craig, welcome back. The end. <laughs>